Welcome back guys, hope you guys are having a great day. So today I'm here with Madison and her brother Caden. Uh, if you guys tuned in to our latest episode, we were actually at this spot where we were fishing for catfish. We ended up not catching uh, too many. We actually caught other fish like white perch, um, bluegills, but there's all types of different species in this water. Today, we're just hoping to catch whatever, have a good time. It is a beautiful day. We have a little bit of wind, some sunshine. And you guys can see the beautiful River Canard. We are under this bridge here, shaded from the sun. And um, Madison's already digging into the KFC. <laughs> we got some uh, food today to keep the energy up. And yeah, stick around guys, let's see what happens. So we're gonna get some food in this first. I got my chicken fingers, chicken nuggets, and some fries. What do you got going, Caden? Same Everything. thing? Yes, sir. So we're just gonna munch on this real quick and then get to fishing. So Madison, actually, uh, we went to Canadian Tire and she bought her first ever rod, this 13 fishing, what's it? Source F1. It looks like, uh, let's see the details on this. It's a seven foot, medium fast, heavy rod. 2500 series same thing 13 fishing source f1 and we bought some fishing line which is under all this food. you guys know we had to buy the power pro best line best braid on the market 10 pound test and we're gonna spool her up pretty soon we got some worms for bait we're gonna be using pickle rigs you guys see that delicious kfc right there we also got some yep pickle rigs that's what we're gonna be using today and yeah so uh we're gonna spool up that reel real quick okay so we are now spooling madison's rod up with her 10 pound power pro what you're gonna do madison is hold that put a little bit of pressure on there a little less there we go that's perfect there and as you can see the reel is getting filled up with mine this is what you guys want to do if you're spooling a new rod. And then you just want to spool it until it looks pretty nice and full. You want to make sure that line is all tense because if it's too loose, then it's not going to get spooled right. That's how you get backlashes and bird's nests. So this will take a while. So we'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so we're just about done. You guys can see that spool is... Look at this guy, put it out here. Pretty cool. So yeah, that spool is now all empty. As you can see, this is what we used. Just a little stick. <laughs> that looks fun. All right, point it up. Yep. So yeah, we just put this stick through this little hole here and you just kind of like hold it like this. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna throw that out later. Do not litter guys, especially in your fishing spots. So yeah, we're gonna tie up, rig up, and we'll see you in a bit. So this is what we're using. It's the picker rig. This is what it looks like out of the package. All you do is kind of like untangle it from its package. These are the hooks. We're using a little bit smaller hooks today in case we get into something smaller. And then just want to untangle that. See, so you got the two harnesses. I just had them. Did you hide the hooks, Madison? So, guys, you can see we got the hook here. What you do is you put it through that little hole there. You can see how I threaded that. And you thread it through this other loop. And then you just tighten it. And I'll show you one more time. In case you missed that, Madison, the hook. Goes through the wire loop. And then it goes through that line loop. You just pull it shut. And we have our lead sinker here, one and a half ounce. And where that goes is on this swivel so take that well you gotta open it first take that 
put it in through there. And that's our rig today. So we're just gonna put some worms on there. Go rope. So today we're gonna teach Madison how to thread a worm through a hook. So we got our night crawlers here. Just a little spoon we found here yesterday. Go ahead, Madison. Look at her face. <laughs> Priceless. All right, go ahead and dig your fingers in that dirt and find yourself a night crawler. <laughs> well, there's a piece. That's a little too small, though. <laughs> Come on, there's one. Pull that bad boy out. Come on. Oh my god, it's so bad. Come on. <laughs> you guys ever watch How to Eat Fried Worms? Yeah. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to split that in half. Oh, no. No. Come on. Cut it. Come on, use your nails. Oh. Oh, boy. Here we go. We already started with this. So I'm going to take these scissors and use the scissors. There you go. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, go it's ahead. Smooth. Come on. Hurry. Before he scrolls up. There you go. And then you're gonna just you're gonna here, I'll 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 do the first one for you. So your hands are pretty damn dirty. Yeah. Okay. So what you do is hold the hook like this, hold the worm, pierce it through once. You should through again. And that is how you do it. Hopefully you paid attention. Go ahead. There you go, bud. Grab your hook and hook them. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> come on. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> You gotta be firm. Oh, that's pretty good. Yep. You can push the worm up the hook. It gets easier. Don't worry. Now push that worm up the hook. You did it. All right. And now we're gonna see if you remember how to cast the way I taught you. So make sure your drag is set. Hold that tight. Oh yeah, that drag was way too loose. Okay. All right. Come, Come along. Oh dear. It's gonna get dirty, Madison. Come on. <laughs> you believe this? She's unbelievable. She's literally washing her hands. Meanwhile, she's gonna catch a bunch of slimy fish and touch the rod anyway. Hit oh boy. It's a rod. It's supposed to get dirty. It's a rod, Madison. All right. Meant for fishing. Go ahead. Here, I'll show you real quick one time. Point it at us. I'm going to show you how you do it. So pay close attention. You're going to reel it up until it's just about there. Don't reel it too close. Like, don't reel it all the way up here. So, you're going to grab the line. Grab the line. Fingers like that, open that bill that releases it, and then I'll show you. It's just a gentle, it's not a it's not a hard whip, it's just like more of a lock. It's 
actually kind of tough, I'll be honest, but you got this. Okay. So, Kim, if you want to come over here so she has a little bit more room, give it a little bit of a harder cast, Madison. A little better. bit better, but still too short. Keep it going. And that, my friends, is how you teach a beginner fisherwoman how to rig and cast. Well, thanks, guys. You scared every fish away. <laughs> oh, look at the look at the kayaker. He's going for a ride. <laughs> so now we know there's fish down there, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, we know there's fish down there. Right in bed. It's getting moving under my goddamn head. What you can do is actually cut that uh, excess worm off. So you got it! Yeah! You got it! It's a big one, too. <laughs> easy, easy. <laughs> That's a nice one. Oh, wow. Catfish. Damn. <laughs> Look at that, guys. First fish of the day. Oh, yeah. Beautiful right. channel cat. I gotta watch out for these spines. Oh! Okay. Right in the eye, man. Oh, right no. Good thing we're eating them. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. Wow. <laughs> You want to hold him? Yeah, hold him. <laughs> All right, we'll get him in the bucket. First fish of the day, baby. Nice. Can we turn it off? Just point it out. Camera at the bucket. Look at that, guys. Nice channel cat. Perfect eater, too. Perfect eating size one. Not too big. Oh, yeah. All right, go rebit your hooks. <laughs> Matt, you did it. <laughs> oh man, what a pro. Great job. Same one. Just twin cousin. <laughs> nice white belly. Oh, he's pulling! Nasty. I'm gonna let you go. Relax. Ah! Oh. You pulled me.
Alright guys, quick little update. We've been fishing here about three hours or so and um, got a few bite perch and this nice guy right here that Maddie caught. We're going to be keeping him. It's perfect size eating catfish but right now we are about to move to a different spot get some more bait. Uh, we're going to get some worms out of store down the street and then I'll catch you guys at the next spot. I don't think it is in the thing. No. Can you get him? Can you get him? Okay, guys, you can see we got our little cat right here. We're gonna have to dispose of him humanely. Knock him out. Oh, yeah, he's all stiffened up. So we're gonna cut him in the throat. Damn, that's a rock right there. What the hell? Okay, we're gonna skip that part. He's already out. So we're gonna take him to the cutting board. I've never actually filleted a catfish, so I'm just gonna do it like I would any other fish. There we go. He's like an airplane right now. His fins are all out. Can't even get him sideways. Look at this. Okay. Cut him off. Cut him off. They're like rock. Um, start off back here. And we can cut down the spine. Oh my goodness, I'm not good at this. I need my fillet knife, I can't find it. That's like a rock. I'm butchering it. Stop laughing at me, guys. Okay. No, it's. Are you serious? It's like nose that you can eat one. Okay, you guys will probably do a better job at this than me, but try my best here. Shut up. Okay. It's not the whole talking about. I kind of wish I didn't knock him out because he won't release his fins. I'm about to break him off. Uh, you have a sharper knife? You want that? It's too big. Okay. Oh, what about that one? You see that one? I didn't see that one. See this one's better? Oh yeah. So the meat's like yellow. Trying my best here, guys. Bear with me. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. <laughs> well, thanks to blood. Yeah, we probably should have bled him first. Yeah, 
No, we're gonna leave it like this. The little catfish goods. Scene from freaking Michael, Michael Myers. So. I don't think she's gonna want to anymore. <laughs> it's the same as it is. Okay. It's not being tortured. We should just like. It's just this nerves going. Pit it right through, Brian. Yeah. Okay. This is the worst fillet job ever. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Put it at, Put it at uh, Toby. Hey, Toby! Hey, boy! Yeah, his friend's being uh, tortured. So that's literally the worst fillet job I've ever done. <laughs> dive balls? Yeah, we'll eat dive balls. Yep, you can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't think there is another eyeball because that one got hooked in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make stew with the guts too. Catfish stew. This is so bad. Oh, we're gonna lose so much subscribers because of this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dude, you're missing all of me. I know, man. I'm <gasps> That is terrible. Sorry, you can eat. Try to go back for it. Try to go back for it. I'm gonna get ten times shorter than that. I know. Wow. Okay, we got like two chicken nuggets out of it. We missed all these. All this meat. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. These and knives are so dull. There is a third nugget. Trust <laughs> me. I'm trying my best to get all the meat I can. It's not looking so good. Because what if you like it? I want more. I hope you don't. <laughs> I hope you don't. We have the kitchen. Bring the bucket. What if he starts swimming? Well, we got three nuggets out of this. grab me a paper towel, please. So, come in. Don't no, keep it on. And how soon is he gonna be a pan with the vegetable oil on it? Uh. That one. Is that fine?
That was from that was from yesterday. That's really cool. So you see some vegetable oil. Skin this guy. I wonder if you can just pull it right off. <laughs> no. The meat looks so red, it's like a grapefruit. It's like trying to pet in the spoon. <laughs> Almost there. Okay, guys. So, today was a pretty tough day. The bite was slow, putting it in. Oh, I bet. <laughs> I wonder. So, yeah, guys, today was a slow day. Um, we only were able to catch the one catfish. We tried different spots. The second spot we went to, kept getting weeds and like our bait stolen from little fish, like some fish. Uh, the guy next to us caught a huge catfish. Another guy next to us caught a large mouth bass, and uh, he actually kept it too. But yeah, right now we're just waiting for our oil to heat up. We're just cleaning up as we cook. Uh, this is my first time ever catching and cleaning a catfish, so I'm actually pretty excited to see if they taste good or not. A lot of people say they don't taste good, but we'll see. We're gonna put it to the test. And yeah, Madison bought her first rod today, a little 13 fishing pole. Now it's um, Caden's turn. Yep. Yes, sir. I gotta buy my license. Yep, he has to buy his license, though. So. He just turned 16, too. Okay. Let's see what's now. Oil should be ready. You'll know it's ready if you drop a bit of batter in there. Yep, that's ready. When you see a sizzle like that, that means it's ready. So we'll drop the little guy first. Let that sizzle for a bit. This is our fish here. The meat I noticed was super bloody, super red, so I'm kind of skeptical if it's gonna taste good. I'm used to like white flaky meat. But only one way to find out. So we're gonna put this to the test today. That's cooking pretty nice. Fish don't take long. You just need a 
five minutes or so. Grab this big guy in there. Ooh, look at that sizzle, baby. Yes, sir. Moving it around so it doesn't stick to the pan. Put this one in there, too. Oh, I love that noise. Music to my ears, baby. I don't know. My predictions, it's probably gonna taste a bit muddy because these fish hang out in mud. <laughs> what do you think, Maddie? She doesn't know, what do you think? Okay, Caden? I don't know, that's probably gonna be nasty. <laughs> <laughs> he said it's probably gonna be nasty. Who knows, it might taste good, man. You never know. So we just flip that over, you can see. It's nice and white now, actually. Kind of looks half good. Now it's pretty good. I'm excited. If it doesn't taste good, well, at least we learned something today. I'm not going back to the hand. <laughs> we'll just stick to the perch and walleye and then. Okay guys, we'll get back to you when they're done cooking. Okay, we're gonna give them a flip in about two minutes. Look at that perfectly golden brown. That's pretty good, huh? It actually does look good, and it smells good. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, that was good. Oh, uh, yeah. Is coming a bit? No, you go. Yeah. I'm going. So, yeah, guys. Let me know if you guys um, cook catfish. Drop a comment. Tell me your, your recipes, how you guys like to cook them. But I just kept it simple. I just put some seasoning, chicken seasoning with some salt, flour. But I'd love to know some new recipes. I know uh, my viewers in Detroit, you guys love catfish. And you guys probably have some better recipes than I do. So yeah. Welcome to the Wind City Cooking Show. <laughs> okay, I got my crash dummy hot. here. What'd you say? Might be hot. Yeah, it's the best time to eat it when it's hot. Oh, thank you. Oh, shit. Yeah, very hot. you better use the fork. Alright, test dummy. <laughs> what do you think? Good? What happened? Is it gross? Do you want to be the test subject? It's decent. Yeah? yeah it's good. You said it's sweet? Yeah, at the start it's like really sweet. But, but then sour? Yeah. It's like sour. What is it? Sour fast kids? Yeah, but it is really sour, that's a lot. It's sour actually? I was yeah. kidding. No, it, it is sour. No way. Yeah. You're kidding. Is it well, fishy? Sweet. <laughs> uh, is there a fishy taste though? Yeah. We didn't cut out no mud line, nothing. We just threw them right in there. Wait, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good? I'm going to turn on that heat a bit. Who knows, it might, it might just be my taste, but it's pretty sour, not a lot. You have a whole bag of tilapia and the things are down Bag of tilapia? Screw that. We got fresh organic <laughs> fish right here. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to cut this in half just to see what we're working with here. Ooh! Mm. And meat actually looks kind of nice and white. Flaky. Mm. Okay, looks like she's almost done. Okay, maybe like 30 more seconds and we'll be ready. Yeah, we'll time up. Okay, next test subject is Miss Madison right here. Go ahead. It's hot. Take a little piece and cool it down. Oh, it's hot. 
Yeah, it is on. Alright, here we go. Do the. Is it good? It's good? Yeah. No way. Okay, let's see. You're just saying that so I'm I can not. eat it. It's good. <laughs> I actually like it. Do you taste sour? It's like salty a little bit. Yeah, it is. It is salty. I can taste salt in it. But... Okay, let's see. No way. What? It's actually so good. It is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we're keeping catfish from now on. <laughs> it's actually good. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Well, not you guys, but some people were saying it's gross. Hell yeah. So there you guys go. Catfish, catch, and cook. Well, I thank you guys for watching today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, be sure to subscribe, leave me a comment, like, any engagement helps. So yeah. On this one. Oh. He's got some of this fake lemon. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Alright. <laughs> Alright, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.